Welcome back. This morning in our Take It Off Today series, one of the most incredible health transformations we've ever brought you. Ever. 47-year-old Rafael Zuniga struggled with his weight his entire life. But something changed in 2011 when he was in his late 30s. That's when doctors told him he was facing life or death, literally. Throughout my life, I've struggled with my weight. As a kid, I would eat a lot of processed foods, and as I got older, I started drinking. The more I ate and drank, the more weight I tacked on. I remember sleeping 10 to 11 hours a day, eating, and then going right back to sleep. By age 33, I weighed 390 pounds. I thought about trying to lose weight, but the stresses from work and overeating kept me from achieving that. As time went on, I stopped leaving the house. I would stay inside all day, too embarrassed to go outside. In 2011, my health took a turn. Suffering from sleep apnea, I woke up one morning with a fever and the sores on my legs were hurting me badly. Finally, my doctor told me if I didn't get myself to a hospital, I would die. When I finally made it to the hospital, I thought I weighed roughly 600 pounds. Instead, I weighed in at 831 pounds, had lymphedema, and was borderline diabetic. I couldn't believe it. Everything hit me at that moment. How bad I let myself go, how I never put my health first, everything was falling apart. When I got home, I knew I had to make some changes, so I cut out drinking and started limiting the foods I could eat. I stopped eating bread and instead ate hard-boiled eggs, fruits, and drank protein shakes. By 2014, my weight had dropped to 400 pounds. I was doing sit-ups in bed and being as active as I could, but I wasn't finished. When I finally got down to 320 pounds, I was eligible for gastric sleeve surgery in August of 2017. I lost about 70 pounds after the surgery, but I still had problems with my legs and skin and needed more surgery to fix them. In March of 2018, I had my first skin removal surgery, followed up by another one month later. I'm finally feeling good about myself, but I know I have a long way to go before getting to where I want to be. And Rafael has continued dropping the weight. After the break, we're going to meet him and see his amazing transformation firsthand. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, before the break, we brought you the story of Rafael Zuniga. At his heaviest, he weighed more than 800 pounds and faced a health crisis. Well, now he has changed his life. He has dropped more than 600 pounds. I think it's time to meet him, right? Yeah. I Check so. out his amazing transformation. Rafael, come on out. Nice to meet you. So nice Hi. to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Have a sit, sit down. Sit, Make sit. yourself at home. Wow. How do you feel? Yeah. You're great. Yeah? yeah? You look great. Thank you. How much did you lose total? Uh, over 600 pounds. Wow. More than wow. 600. Yep, more than 600 pounds. Let's take this a step at a time. I was reading your story. You know what got me was there was a time where you talked about having to go to the hospital, having, you know, serious health issues, and you had to crawl into the hospital. Like, you couldn't even really walk in. Well, I, I had to crawl, like, down my stairs. You had to crawl even just to get out? To get out of the house, yeah. At, at that time, I haven't been out of the house for, uh, it was going on about two and a half or three years. Wow. So it was a big ordeal just to get out of the house to get prepared to get the ambulances to come get me. That's amazing. Was being in that situation, was that enough to give you the push you needed to, I, I need to change this, I need to do something? I was on the road to that, but I just wasn't quite, quite there yet. You know, I started getting all these Ill, obesity um, related illnesses mm -hmm. and um, I knew I wasn't getting better and I was like, well, I gotta go to the hospital because I felt like I was, I've never felt uh, that bad and I just felt like I was gonna die. I just heard you tell Al that you, uh, you, you yeah. saw his, I you saw his, his struggle. Yeah, I saw when he, uh, you had a, a surgical, yeah, uh, I don't know if it was gastric sleeve, and I was like, that scared me. So I was just like, I'll never be able to do that, and you know, it was just, it was a scary, a scary uh, process. How has your life changed? I mean, there, there, there are the big issues, obviously, but what are the smaller, everyday things that you all of a sudden realized I couldn't do this before? Walking, going to the store, for anything. You know, I just love getting up to grocery shopping. The, those are little things. Getting out of my car to go to get a bottle of water. You know, I used to have uh, people that work for me go do this, go do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was very dependent on a lot of people. You've got a pair of pants over here next to you. This, these are the, these are pants you actually wore. I wore them for a brief time, but I actually got a lot bigger than this. So I had to. Um, so can I get up and show them? Yeah, of course. Yeah, at one point these stuff fit me uh, years. Yeah. 
Wow. These are about, a, I think, a 63 or 64 waist. A 64 and you waist. hit a point where those weren't even fitting. No. And it got to the point where I had to wear um, elastic um, jogging pants or shorts. Wow. Because so let's, of, talk, let's talk about how you did it. We're looking here. Uh, you, you've got toast here. So we've got peanut butter, mayonnaise, jelly. So you don't do any of this anymore then, right? Uh, on occasion, I, um, I do. But um, when, I was, uh, when I was in the hospital, I decided that um, I really had to amp up my progress. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I was scouring the internet and I discovered um, an application called Lose It, and that opened my eyes. It's an app? Yes, it's a weight loss app, and uh, it opened my eyes to the type of foods that I was eating. I managed to lose about 40, uh, 47 pounds on my own eating diet food and guessing what I was eating. Mm -hmm. So I guess through all the search engines of trying to, uh, how to lose weight, because I was looking, I was desperately looking for some sure. type of inspiration. I thought something was wrong with me. Um, that was keeping me from losing weight, but when I discovered the app, uh, Lose It, it showed me that eating, uh, I was eating salads already, but uh, it was uh, showing me how, how many calories were actually in a, in a serving of salad dressing, and there's never a serving, a serving is like a tablespoon, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. it's always pour like, it yeah, you just pour it on, yeah. same thing with, uh, with butter, you know, they'll tell you a, a tablespoon of butter is 100 calories, but you put three or four. What'd you swap it with? Well, I started, uh, you know, it, it showed me to, to open my eyes and eat smart, mm -hmm. and... I didn't have to uh, starve myself. Like so hard boiled eggs, avocado, eggs, avocado um, a lot of uh, rotisserie uh, chicken, baked chicken. Mm -hmm. um, I eliminated carbs for a long time as far as like eating breads. Right. Um, no pasta. Pasta, no. I was really strict on that. I stopped drinking alcohol for like about a two and a half year period because that was a big part of the problem with uh, with, with losing weight because I drink so much. Yeah. What is your advice for people who are trying to take that first step? Because I'd imagine, you know, day one, okay, you start eating healthier, but you're not going to see progress day one. I mean, it's a, it's a long-term thing. Have faith and drink a lot of water. Drink, mm. I mean, when I say a lot of water, I, I drink probably over a gallon of water a day. Before I even start my day, I got at least three bottles of water by my bedside, and I chug away before I even get out of bed. Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your relationship now? How has it improved with your, your girl and your family members? Because I remember seeing my son seeing an old picture of me and said, who's that with Courtney? And I said, that's, that's, that's daddy. Well, <laughs> my, said, my, uh, my daughter's very happy that, you know, that I'm very mobile and stuff. She's a little more cranky now because uh, <laughs> cause I've lost, I don't know, it's because I lost weight. I was, well, maybe just the stresses of everything because of, of life, you know, and she's getting older. But my daughter's very happy, you know, with my mobility. That, that, that was a huge thing for me, just to be walking around. You know, I walked over here to the show before, it was like, wow. take a cab and... You know, everything was drive, drive, drive. No walking at all for me. Well, good for you. You, you should be great. proud. You look amazing. Yeah, you. And Thank you're an inspiration you. for other people. Thank you. As well, Raphael. Thank yeah. you yeah. so Thank much. You. For more on Raphael's story and to see other incredible Take It Off Today transformations, head to thirdhourtoday.com. We'll be right back.